Hey, hey, math people. So I was looking up SATs for fun, because that's what I do. And the very first practice test um, on College Board's page, so practice SAT number one, um, had this mean, mean little one in there. Uh, it's one of those multi-parter problems. So I'm going to give you some general advice on how to handle these multi-part problems. I'm also going to talk about why this problem is so mean, this one right here. So let's do the problem. Um, and let's set up the scene too, right? Because that's also a component to you, how much like stamina, how much uh, breath you have left. Because as of right now, this is the fourth, uh, this is a question on the fourth portion of the SAT. So it's on the calculator-based math assessment. There's 38 questions. So this is questions 22 and 23. You are almost done, and then you see this. You see uh, big numbers and uh, a lot of them. That's kind of mean. And here's the other mean layer of this. This is on the calculator-based assessment. Tempting to wanna use the calculator on the calculator-based assessment. But no, if you do that, if you touch your calculator here, you are wasting time. Very mean. So let, let's go through this problem. Uh, all right, how do you navigate these problems? General advice goes like this. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what not to do first. Do not, the moment you see this panic, you go, uh, okay, I'm not going to read this. Um, go right to the problems and then panic further when you're, you're being asked a question about the agricultural natural resources in Kansas from 2008, 2010. I don't know what these values are. I don't see them in this table. Uh, choice D. Don't do that. So um, don't skip over the information to start uh, because you need it in order to absorb the questions in the first place. Uh, secondly, don't sit there and think, okay, all right, well, uh, annual budgets for different programs in Kansas, 2007, 2010. Okay, so you got these programs, you got agriculture slash natural resources. Okay, here are the values associated with them. It goes from 373, 904. It looks like it goes down a bit, then it goes up. Don't sit there and do that. It's gonna take you way too much time, way too much time. Uh, this is how you should navigate through these problems. The moment you see this, One deep breath, because <laughs> it's not, it's not, usually these problems aren't that bad. Um, all right, so I would probably absorb what's going on here. I have times from 2007 to 2010. And uh, these are presumably money values, okay? Uh, and I can confirm that here, thousands of dollars, sure, okay, money. And you have all these different like departments or programs or whatever. Done. A true calm collective analysis should take like 15 to 20 seconds. And it feels like maybe you're spending too much time uh, on that because 15, 20 seconds, tw count to 20 right now, it, it, it is it's substantial, but there's two problems associated with this. So it is worth the time. So about 10, a collective 10 to 15, uh, 15 to 20 seconds absorbing the setup. That's what I say. Um, all right, so reading through the problems here. Um, which of the following best approximates, approximates, approximates. Don't touch that calculator. The average rate of change, that's a slope um, in agriculture from 2008 to 2010. 2008, 2010, agriculture. 2008, 2010, agriculture. Come up with the slope. That's what average rate of change is, slope. Um, so approximate. I don't care about these zeros. There's lots of them. But I see a 50, a, tw a 65, a 75, and a 130. Uh, all right, so 358 to 488. Let's go. Difference between these two. Uh, and then over, so I'm finding a slope uh, rate of change here. So my change in X would be from 2010 to 2008. So it would be two, two years. I'm secretly doing this. I'm secretly doing change in Y over change in x, I'm using slope formula, but I'm doing it, I'm doing it in a, in, a, in a efficient way. So I did change in y over change in x. Uh, up top, you get 130 over, two, and then down below, you get that too. So this is 65. I see a choice here with 65. I'm done with the problem. Uh, actually, what's funnier about this problem too is that there's another layer of difficulty to it is that this is in thousands of dollars. So this is uh, 10,000, or sorry, 358,000 thousands of dollars. So that's why you see these values in the millions here. So it was trying to trip you up with that too. So many layers of mean. Uh, but if you can see here the math that I did, nothing too crazy. Don't touch that calculator, you're wasting your time. 
All right, so with 23, it's the same story. Which programs, uh, so, so if I can read here, which programs ratio of its 2007 to 2010 is closest to the HR programs ratio from 2010, or 2007 to 2010? So closest, aka another approximation. If you sat there and used your calculator for all these values, you're gonna waste so much time. So HR in 2007 was um, four. <laughs> It's a big number, but it's four. And then it says a ratio, which is a fraction. Uh, and then four over, so 2010, uh, that's like six, right? This is like four million, this is like six million. Millions go away, uh, that's two thirds. Four over six is two thirds. That's what I recommend here. So it wants you to go through all four of these. So that's a, that's kind of a bit of a pain, right? You have to go through, you have to do four little checks uh, and, and, and see which one's closest to two thirds, all right? Um, so I'm going to start bottom and then go up. So public safety. Um, okay. So this is like 26 over 46. All right. That one's that one. Highway and transportation. This is like 14 over 17. I guess 15 over 17. So that does round up. Education is like, I don't know, two over three. Ding, 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 there's my winner. I'm done, I don't have to keep going. I guess I can show you that agriculture is not it. Uh, 37 over, I don't know, 49, no. No, no, no. If you sat there and used your calculator, which would be technically the right thing to do, right? And you and you typed in, okay, well, 373, 904, over 488, 1,106, enter, okay, you get some sort of decimal. Yeah, okay, you're wasting a tremendous amount of time. It's it's literally begging for you to approximate and which is the closest to. It's begging for you to just, um, but it's really not because it's on the, it's on the calculator portion. But it, it's, it's dropping hints, how about that? It's dropping hints on this notion of, don't ca touch your calculator, dude, even though it's on the calculator portion. So what, why was this mean? This was mean for a number of reasons. Uh, so the mean, uh, whoops, mean points. Uh, so this was, this is on, this is very close to the end of the fourth test. End of the fourth exam. Uh, and uh, big numbers. <laughs> uh, it's technically in like thousands of dollars, even though it's already in tens of thousands. So sells in, I guess, hundreds of thousands. But the table is then in, in thousands of dollars. So that would render like these million values that you see. So that's, that was kind of mean. Um, you, you shouldn't use, <laughs> shouldn't use the calculator on this calc portion of the math SAT. So you, you have your calculator, you shouldn't actually use it for this. So few reasons why this problem was mean. Uh, but anyways, general advice to on how to solve these multi-step, you'll see these questions 22 and 23 are refer to the following information. General advice on that, spend 15 to 20 seconds absorbing the scenario and then go through the problems. Breathe, don't panic. Don't freak out. Usually these problems are actually not too bad. They're, they're designed to um, really make use of only certain aspects of the problem too. So you'll notice here, I don't even think there was any reference to uh, general government at all. And look at this, 2009, I didn't even touch. So uh, that's very common as well uh, to have these problems, not even use every aspect of the table. Uh, it's it's usually a, a smaller portion of it. it all in all um, we, we maybe used um, I mean half less than half the cells about half the half the cells all right anyways rambling um, that's all I wanted to show you this problem was mean please continue to math on I'll do the same I'll see you in the next video